Agida has sent me a whole box of pedals. None of those are new, but they all went through redesign, so let's check them out. <laughs> Welcome to Base the World. My name is Gregor Fries and today I'm accompanied by Lars Lehmann playing the orange special edition of the Sandberg Base the World Base. In the intro you've heard the Agro and the Grape Phaser, but I first want to look at my favorite pedal out of the Agila line, which is the Octomizer. <laughs> The Octamizer has been one of my favorite Octavo pedals since it was launched many years ago. It tracks nicely and can give you both a subtle octave below your bass or a huge, fat, low and saturated wall of octave. The controls are simple. On the left we have level 40 octave plus a filter to get the lower octave from nice and funky to humongous. On the right we have a level 4 direct bass signal and a tone control. Very simple, very effective, very good sounding. Great pedal. And next up, the filter twin. The filter train houses two different filter units sweeping in opposite directions. The two velocity controls in the bottom row set the speed for these filters. On the top we have a threshold that controls the sensitivity and we have a blend that allows you to mix these two filters to your liking. This pedal is very funky and overall just really 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 good. Great job Aguilar. And now let's have a look at the Fasistor. <laughs> Fast sister is an aggressive fast pedal, but it can also be used more subtle if you keep the blend and the fast control below 12 o'clock. Blend mixes the fast with your clean signal, level is your overall volume, tone is a tilt EQ to shape the fast in a way you like, and fast is of course your gain. This pedal works as well in a doom metal band as it does in your disco project, so it's really cool. And now let's have a look at the Chorosaurus. <laughs> Chorosaurus is an excellent bass chorus with all the typical controls. Ratio and width at the top row and speed plus intensity in the bottom row. The controls allow you to dial in the chorus exactly to your taste and that in a lot more variant than most other bass chorus pedals. I only wish it had the plan to mix it with your direct bass signal. I guess we can't have everything. But what we can have is last playing the TLC compressor. <laughs> The TLC is a rather gentle compressor. It can be strong and crush audio dynamics, but even in these extreme settings, it's still very neutral towards your natural bass sound. The controls here are level, threshold for the intensity of the compressor, attack and slope. This is an excellent compressor if you want a pedal that neatly works on your peaks and dynamics without changing the sound of your bass. It's one of the most subtle and natural sounding compressors on the market. And now let's finally have a look at the pedals from the intro and let's start with the Crepe Phaser. <laughs> The Grape Phaser has a simple two-knob layout, rate on the left and color on the right. 
color controls how big you want this phaser to sound. Aguila says they feed a portion of the signal back through the phase shift and circuit, which creates a new and funky bass sound. And yes, it's, it's funky, I like this a lot. And now finally, the acro distortion. <laughs> The Acro was both Lars and my favorite pedal out of the bunch when we recorded these sound samples. It's very versatile, but the best sound we found is kind of what you would imagine a Lemmy would do with this pedal. Strong distortion, played with a pick. The controls are level, saturation, which is the gain, presence and contour. The Acro is an extremely dynamic distortion. I think that is what made us like it so much. It follows every little move you do on the fretboard without ever overpowering your dynamics, no matter how much distortion is dialed in. And these are all the pedals from this line. Of course, Aguilar makes a few more, like the Storm King that we reviewed not too long ago. For me, it would take a bit to get used to these new looks. I really love the minimalistic designs of the original pedals. Uh, yeah, and this is clearly a, a very different approach. But at the end, what really matters are the sounds. And with that, Aguilar is, of course, still on top of the game. Great pedals, Aguilar. Please more. If you want to get one for yourself, please check the links in the video description below. We are working with a bunch of different dealers and you order through our links, they will pay us a little kickback. That's a very, just a very easy way to support this channel. Doesn't cost you a cent, but really makes a difference and helps to keep Base the World running. Thanks for watching and see you again next week with a review of the new Glockenklang Bluebird. Bye bye. Base the world.